Well, if you understand fractions, you should be able to solve this problem. So what we're talking about here is something called a complex fraction problem. Now, when you have a fraction, you have a numerator and a denominator. And anytime either the numerator or the denominator or both is a fraction in and of itself, well, you have a complex fraction. All right, so what we have here is 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 fourth. Okay, so we have a complex fraction here, and this is going to require a lot of work, but it's not going to be that difficult if you just kind of take one step at a time. Now, uh, try to do this problem without a calculator, but if you think you need one, go ahead and use one. But if you can get the right answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to show you exactly how to deal with a complex fraction. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Again, we have 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 fourth. All right, so the correct solution here is 5 ninths. Now, if you got this right, and if you did not use a calculator, that is super impressive. You're going to get a happy face in the A+. Plus. And if you're like, hey, Amos, do you two math, man? I really don't understand uh, fractions. Well, a lot of people struggle with fractions because we often just kind of, you know, break out our calculators and we try to avoid arithmetic, right? So that's just kind of the nature of doing math, especially when we have all this uh, technology around. But this is something that you definitely need to understand, how to work with complex fractions. So let's go ahead and see how exactly we solve a complex fraction problem like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. And the first thing we want to recognize is the following. So in mathematics, when you see a fraction bar like so, we have one here and we want, uh, have one here. Basically, what you want to think of is the numerator and denominator as separate problems, okay? So for example, uh, like right here, there's only this, uh, there's nothing going on here in the num uh, numerator, so we don't have any math to do up here. But down here, we have to do some math. So you want to uh, basically separate the numerator and denominator. Okay, they're basically two separate problems. Let me give you another example. So if I have a fraction bar like this, I have 7 minus 10 over 3 squared. Okay, what you want to do is simplify this, and uh, you're going to just think of that as a separate math problem as 3 squared. Once you take care of these component parts, then we'll put the answers to these respective problems together and simplify uh, the fraction. This is the best way to think about uh, doing uh, any fraction problem and especially a complex fraction uh, problem. So when you look at a fraction, even, even though that fraction is within a fraction, you're just going to look at these as little mini problems and we want to kind of clean up um, you know, these fractions one step at a time, okay? And of course, it's going to be a little bit confusing, but let's go ahead and take a look at the correct order to do this problem, okay? And I kind of made a little schematic here, uh, just in case you want to retry this problem on your own. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to evaluate this fraction, okay, this complex fraction. Now, notice up in the numerators, there's nothing to do. There's one. All the action is kind of down here in uh, the denominator. So the first thing we're going to do is handle this um, problem right here. We got this fraction. I can't um, um, add one to this uh, situation until I fix you know, this problem up. So the first thing I need to do is figure out what one plus one fourth is. That's going to be step one. Now, once I get this answer, I'm going to take one and divide it by that. So that'll be step two. All right. So hopefully you kind of understand my little schematic here. So again, this is step one, and then once we get the answer there, we're going to take one, and we're going to divide it by that. That's step two. And then once I have all this figured out, step three is I'm going to take one, and I'm going to add it to the results of this. Okay. Now, that should uh, clean up my entire denominator. So my last step is going to be one divided by all of this stuff that I got down here in uh, the denominator. So if you understand what I am saying, you can kind of pause the video and retry this problem. Again, the correct answer is 5 ninths. 
So uh, this is effectively how you handle complex fractions. Again, if you, uh, as long as you have basic fraction skills, you know you should be able to just kind of whittle through each one of these steps and just concentrate on the problem at hand, not the bigger uh, part of the problem. You don't want to look at the entire thing because that'll confuse you. Just one step at a time. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. So here, again, I have one over one plus one over uh, uh, one plus one fourth. So, uh, I'm, you know, I'm kind of focusing down here in the denominator. I can't add one to all of this until I figure this fraction out. And I got to uh, start here with figuring out this denominator, one plus one fourth. So one plus one fourth is what? That's simply just one and one fourth, right? So when you see a fraction like this, one uh, plus one fourth, that's just a mixed number, one and one fourth. In other words, if I gave you the mixed number one and one fourth, that means one plus one fourth. So I'm simply going to just add uh, that one and one fourth like so. Now at this point though, this mixed number is really not going to do me any good. So I'm going to turn this mixed number fraction into an improper fraction. And that is uh, the improper fraction five fourths. Okay. So how did I get that? Well, one and one fourth to convert this into a mixed number, we have to go four times one is four, right? Plus one is five. That's our numerator right here over four. All right. So already, if you're kind of like, oh boy, I'm a little bit confused on how to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction. Well, that's just an indication that you need some more work on your basic fraction skills. So again, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out with those basics. But uh, probably the best thing I can offer you uh, I'll leave a link to it uh, in the description below, is my Math Foundations course. It's a three-chapter kind of math boot camp for basic mathematics. I cover decimals. I cover uh, percent, fractions, all the kind of found order of operations, another thing. Uh, you know, all the foundational skills you need to be successful in mathematics. All right, so hopefully you understand now that one and one-fourth is the same thing as five-fourths. So that's what uh, we're going to go ahead and rewrite this fraction with a five-fourths in the denominator. Okay, so here is the problem right here. Now, when you're actually doing this, you know, you might be saying, wow, this guy's really breaking down, you know, writing a lot of steps here. Well, you need to do the same thing as well, right? If you try to do this problem, uh, you know, all at once, and a lot of students, let me kind of go up here, for example, they might do something like this. Uh, they're like, oh, okay, this is this, and then, oh, this is that, and they'll write their answer here, you know, you know, this is what drives math teachers crazy. They'll be like, you know, I have no idea what you're doing and neither do you. OK, you can't read what's going on. You know, take the time to write things step by step. Right. Remember, math is a language and uh, you can't express what's going on unless you can see what's going on. All right. So now at this point, we have one over one plus one, uh, uh, one plus one over five fourths. So that was our step one. Our step two now is to figure out what this is. Okay, so this right here is one. All right, that's our numerator. The fraction bar is the same thing as division. So this is one divided by five fourths. One divided by five fourths. So we got to uh, kind of figure out what this is going to be equal to. So let's going to do that right now. So we got uh, one over five, uh, one divided by five fourths. So one over five fourths means one divided by five fourths. Again, basic fraction skills here. So uh, what we need to do is change this division problem to multiplication, right? So uh, actually, uh, let me show you here uh, how we're going to do that. Just to kind of review basic fraction skills again. So we're going to go from division to multiplication. Remember when you're dividing fractions, we need to change it from a division problem to a multiplication problem. And we do that by flipping the fraction to the right. OK, so the right of this is 5 over 4, so we're going to flip it upside down. That's going to become 4 over 5, OK? So now, how do we multiply two fractions? Easy, we simply uh, multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So that's 1 times 4 is 4, and 1 times 5 is 5. So that is the answer, 4 fifths. OK, so we did this right here, and this is the correct answer. So we're going to go ahead and write 4 fifths for that um, step right there. Let's go to do that right now. And there is the results, right? So you can see four fifths. Uh, that is what I got. Uh, that's one divided by five fourths is four fifths. So again, 
Um, a lot of you are going to struggle with this, not because you can't do this basic fraction work, it's because you're going to mismanage the prom, you know, you're going to, you know, uh, you know, take shortcuts, and it takes discipline, it takes effort and focus. I mean, that is the number one thing, focus, uh, you know, um, to, to solve any math problem. And in today's age, it's so easy to get distracted. We got our cell phones, you got everything around us. So if you're trying to improve in math, you really have to get your state, get your uh, mental state in the highest level of focus possible. You can go to a quiet area, put away you know, your cell phone and focus only on the problem. Okay. And uh, anyways, hopefully that kind of uh, makes sense to you. So at this point, let's take a look at where our complex fraction is. It's kind of cleaning up nice, uh, nicely here. So we have our numerator, which is 1, uh, but we still have more work to do in the denominator. So we're kind of on to our step 3 here. So we're going to take this 1, and we're going to add it to 4 fifths. Let's go to take that next step now. And that next step now is actually uh, for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. And if you um, are going to do that, hit that notification button. Uh, this really has such a positive impact on the growth of uh, my channel. What I'm trying to do is reach as many people as possible who are struggling in mathematics. Okay, and um, uh, actually, you know, uh, students uh, or people struggling in mathematics, it's a bit of a crisis. You know, we have kind of like a teacher shortage going on, and uh, you know, math is it's so important. Okay, and unfortunately. 99% of people who struggle in math don't have to struggle in math. What they need is clear and understandable instruction, and they need kind of uh, motivation and encouragement. And that's what I am trying to do. So by you hitting that subscribe button, that really does help me out. By the way, um, for those of you that are new to my channel, um, I have about 2,000 plus videos from basic math to advanced math, uh, like calculus and everything in between on my channel. All that content is for you, so please use it. All right, back to the prom. Okay, so at this point, you know, uh, our complex fraction prom is cleaning up pretty nicely. We have 1 over 1 plus 4 fifths. So now we're going to figure uh, out what 1 plus 4 fifths is. 4 fifths, excuse me, um, is 4 fifths. Let's say that correctly. All right, so just like we did last time, uh, this is, uh, we can write this as a mixed number fraction. And that's just 1 and uh, 4 fifths, right? So we got 1 divided by 1 and 4 fifths. And now we're going to change this thing into uh, an improper fraction. So this is just kind of repeating some of the stuff we did previously in uh, those few other steps, right? Okay, so we have 1 divided by 1 and 4 fifths. Again, we're going to change this into an improper fraction. So let me write this right here. 1 and 4 fifths. So that's going to be 5 times 1 is 5 and then plus 4 is 9 okay so that's going to be 9 over this denominator 9 fifths okay so this entire denominator is 9 fifths and now finally we are down to um, you know pretty much the last step so we have our complex fraction finally whittled down into something we can kind of handle and even this is a bit of a complex fraction because it's a um, you know, fraction within a fraction, right? But at this point, we can figure this out because we have 1 divided by 9 fifths. Okay, so let's go and figure this out. And we're going to finish this problem up now. So 1 over 9 fifths is equal to 1 divided by 9 fifths. Okay, remember that division bar is the same thing as a division. And this is the uh, uh, numerator, okay? And, of course, that, that's how we start off our problems. So you need to be able to... Um, convert a fraction prom situation into a division prom situation like this. And now we're back to dividing fractions. So we're going to convert from division to multiplication by flipping uh, the fraction to the right of the division symbol. So this is 9 fifths. So we're going to multiply by 5 over 9. All right. So when we multiply, we're simply going to multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So 1 times 5 is 5 and 1 times 9 is 9. So our final answer is 5 over 9. Okay, so I know a lot of you are like, oh my goodness, you know, fractions. I don't like fractions, you know, but listen, complex fractions are everywhere. And if you keep uh, learning more math, you know, it's not only with just numbers, it's with variables as well. I mean, imagine doing this problem 
where you have things like 1 over uh, x plus 1 over uh, y. I'm just making something up here over uh, g minus uh, x. I mean, this can get crazy, but you're going to face um, situations like this. So remember, um, algebra is nothing more than arithmetic, if you will, you know, basic mathematics, because uh, these uh, letters represent numbers. Okay, if I exchange these variables for numbers, we're pretty much, you know, doing basic math. So if you want to be successful in algebra, you have to master arithmetic, fractions, order of operations, et cetera, et cetera. You want to build that strong math foundation. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my math foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.